Hello class of 2018. Today we're looking at calculating probability distributions for a sample proportion, calculating expected values and calculating standard deviation for the sample proportion. So the sample proportion p hat is itself a random variable and it's a binomial probability distribution with a constant probability p and the number of trials, not trails, the size of the sample. Trials. Okay. The expected sample proportion, E of p hat, is the mean of p hat. So we expect it to be p. As n increases, the estimate p should p hat, sorry, should get closer to p. So a nice uh, gentle question to start with. From a sample of 20, 8 are left-handed. What's the sample proportion of left-handed people? Um, the sample size is 20, 8 are left-handed. And so p hat is 8 over 20, which can be simplified to 4 out of 10 or 2 fifths. The probability of rolling a 6 is given to you as 2 over 9. It's rolled 20 times and the proportion of 6s are calculated. This sampling is repeated many times. What's the expected sample proportion of 6s? So this actually requires no calculation. The long-term expected value of p hat should be p, and that's given to you as 2 out of 9. All right, so here's something with a little bit more oomph. We know that 70% of all M&Ms are red in colour. When selecting a random sample of four M&Ms with replacement, that's helpful to know, calculate the probability distribution for the sample proportion p hat. So what you actually start off with is recognising that x is a binomial distribution or binomially distributed variable where x is the event um, we choose a red M&M. The possible values that x could take are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, where n is 4 and p is 0 0.7. Now p hat is the proportion out of 4 that you could get M and M is 4. So you could get 0 out of 4, 1 quarter, or 1 out of 4, 2 out of 4, 3 out of 4, or 4 out of 4 M and M's that are red. So you would just have to set up a probability distribution based on the binomial formula where you have n c x um, p to the power of x 1 minus p to the power of n minus x and so if you actually use your calculator you can use it to find your pdf binomial pdf sorry and so I can set up one of these little tables here and up here I'll have p hat so I've got 0, 1 quarter, a half, 3 quarters, and 1. And your probabilities are um, P capital P hat equals little p hat. And you have 0 0.0081, 0 0.0756, 0 0.0075. Zero point two six four six, zero point four one one six, and zero point two four zero one. So now you're doing part B, where you're asked to find the proportion that a red is less than fifty percent. So what that means is you want the probability that p hat is less than a half which is the probability that p hat equals zero plus the probability that p hat equals a quarter. 
So from your previous tables, you had 0 0.0081 plus 0 0.0756, which equals which equals 0 0.0837. So now we are asked to find the mean and standard deviation. So what you need to do is pull out your table again. Give me a second. And so then to calculate the mean, you would multiply the vertical mul uh, columns together and add them up. So here's what I write in. And this works out to be 0.7, which... Uh, I'm kind of kicking myself because that's the expected value of p anyway. Duh, p hat. Uh, so we do the standard deviation. Uh, we need to work out what the expected value of um, p hat squared is. And this works out um, from squaring p hat, multiplying it by um, the probability. Square of a quarter is 1 on 16 times this. Square of a half is a quarter, which multiplies by 0 0.2646. Square of 3 quarters is a 9 over 16, etc. The answer you get when you add it all up is 0 0.5425. So therefore, from before, we have expected value of p hat is 0.7, expected value of p hat squared is 0.5425. So then the um, variance of p hat is equal to the expected value of p hat squared minus the expected value of p hat all squared which is 0.5425 minus 0.7 squared. This equals 0 0.0525, and so the standard deviation is the square root of all of this, which equals 0 0.229129.